Hey everyone, James Hurst, and I'm bringing you another high level tips and tricks video by Extendly. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to set up reminders, email, SMS, to go out at a very specific date and time. So this might be something you would use for a live webinar that's coming up, or potentially holidays, right? Uh, holidays are always kind of changing the dates. So what we have here is that first email that's gonna go out. The key though, really, is this special action called set event start date, okay? So you have different options here. You can set it to a custom field, or a specific day or a specific time. So let's go find that together. So what we're gonna do is hit the plus button, set event start date. And this is where you would actually pick the exact day and time that you wanted this thing to go out. Okay, so August 16th, 3 p.m. Okay, so I'm setting that event start time and date right there, and I might actually add this too. I might say August 16th, 3 p.m. so I can see it there as I'm looking at the overview, okay? Now this is going to work in conjunction with a wait step. So first you set the date, but then you wanna wait until that time. So a lot of us have used the wait conditions. They're common, right? Wait two days, wait two days, right? Now. That's the common use case that you'll usually use. Wait two days, wait four days. What we're gonna do is actually go to here and say we're gonna await until we get to that previous event appointment start time. And again, a lot of us have seen that, you know, we're gonna wait uh, two hours before, 10 days before, before or after, but you also have the opportunity to choose the exact time that this goes out. So it's gonna, it's gonna go out it's gonna wait until that exact August 16th at 3 p.m., okay? And so I might also add this here, wait until August 16th at 3 p.m. Well, what's also cool, and so, so I, I set the event start date, I wait until that time, and then I send an email. Then, if I wanted to, I could set another set, uh, set event start date further down the road and do another wait so you can have multiple of these set event start dates wait until that thing. So that these two, these two actions, the set event and the wait, they go together and then, they, uh, then you can send the email, send the text. Hope that helps and we'll see you in the next video. Want to learn Go High Level in a structured format? Check out the GHLacademy.com by Extendly. We guarantee to save you six months of wasted subscription costs for high level. Just visit the GHLacademy.com.